Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more groovy videos. Now if you'll excuse me, we got a water win. Guys, this is a topic that no one wants to address because everyone is either afraid to admit or they're just easily overlooking the situation. Luckily, I'm here to tell you the legitimate truth. You guys are thinking, what is this guy on about? Which Transformer does he speak about? Well, thankfully, I'm here to tell you who he is because this Cybertronian has unimaginable power that can threaten the entire Earth as we know it. And who is that Transformer, you might ask? That's right, I'm not joking, I don't care what anyone says, this Transformer is way too powerful. He's way more powerful than Optimus, way more powerful than Optimus and Megatron combined, and even way more powerful than Jetfire Optimus. Dispenser may be just a product placement, but you'll be dead wrong. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it here ladies and gentlemen, he's an incredibly devious robot that can fire soda cans directly at you from a high velocity rate, enough to send your soul back to the recycling factory although depending where it hits you at. He's even more of a threat because he has the capability to turn Earth's water supply into Mountain Dew. That is how powerful he is. In case if anyone does not understand, there is a water crisis that's going on in Jackson, Mississippi and it's really bad down there. I'd rather live in the Last of Us apocalypse where the spores infect your body and take over you. Imagine drinking soda all day, imagine showering, bathing in soda, going to pools, Going to soda parks, that would be a horrible life to live in. But no, seriously, the water crisis in Mississippi is actually happening. I hope the best for them and that they can get all the help they can get. Hell, if he wanted to, he can turn Energon into Mountain Dew and easily infect all Cybertronians by pill cosbying them. I know what your viewers are thinking. If he's that powerful, why didn't we get to see more of him throughout the films? It's literally the same reason why Warner Brothers won't make another Superman movie. He's just too fucking powerful to make good stories with. And it's sad that Michael Bay won't even give this diabolical Decepticons a reputation. He's so powerful that even the writers of the Alliance comics had to kill him off because they didn't know what to do with him. They know how overpowered he is, so they have to kill him off. Dispenser is no joke and not one to mess around with. He even has his own game where he can infiltrate Sector 7 just like Frenzy in the 07 film. It was developed by Tribal DDB Dallas, with animation being provided by the Canadian animation studio replaced by robots. In the game, you stake out Sector 7's headquarters as Dispensor, in the hopes of capturing the AllSpark Cube. In the game, you have to bypass many security measures, such as metal detectors and security lasers. And the scariest part is that he can transform into his soda machine mode and willingly give Mountain Dew to unsuspecting people that wouldn't even think twice. For all we know, he can give some kind of drink where he can control humans or get them addicted to this sinister beverage. I used to drink Mountain Dew with Papa John's pizza when I was younger, but thankfully I don't anymore. I drink Coke and water now. Because if I were to keep drinking that corrupted soft drink, I would have been one of those conspiracy theorists that would have thought that Elvis is dead, water is wet, the government is spying on us, KFC is somehow better than Popeyes, a disaster that literally came from a lab instead of a bat, Spider-Man is an Iron Boy, gravity is in space, it is to think that Tifa is better than Aerith, and gambling should be banned on Twitch. Or, or th the worst case, that some squid woman gave life to Cybertrons instead of a cube. Even in death, he will never be forgotten. For instance, in a commercial for Revenge of the Fallen, one of the appliance bots was taunting a seemingly innocent man while holding a Mountain Dew bottle, while his friends or roommates are trying to get this man to chill out because it's just an ordinary toaster. And I think people were just missing at the point and just laughing at it just for shits and giggles. I believe this man was an addict and a victim of Mountain Dew abuse. Let me explain. Remember when I said, for all we know, that 
The Mountain Dew could be laced with some kind of drink that can control or get people addicted. Well, it's more than likely that he could have been one of those victims. Well, it's more than likely he was probably in the Mission City from the old seven film, but took a bunch of Mountain Dew cans thinking that it was just free soda. Unbeknownst to him that the soft drinks got him hooked on so much that his friends had to do something about his addiction and force him into rehab. And now he's at a phase where he can't stop thinking about Mountain Dew. It only got worse when one of the appliance bots showed up for some inexplicable reason and tried to get him hooked on again. Guys, I'm telling you, Dispensor isn't just a menace to society. He is a devious spawn from Unicron that can pose a threat to the entire planet of Earth. And guys, it only gets worse from here. Just wait. Watch this clip from Trans Theories and you'll understand why. Appliance bots. And interestingly enough, his physical appearance is very similar to and possibly based off of Dispensors. This is especially apparent if you compare the concept art side by side. And without a shadow of a doubt, Dispensor was definitely used as a base. Furthermore, Dyson Vacuum Cleaner Bot's missile launcher has the same CGI model as Dispensor's soda can launcher. However, now the colors are orange and red in addition to the projectiles now resembling RPG rockets instead of soda cans. That's right, your audio receptors are not deceiving you. Apparently, in Revenge of the Fallen, one of the other appliance bots took inspiration off of Dispensor in his name and honor. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if Dispensor had his own cult called the Dispenser Bots that can pose a threat to both Autobots and Decepticons alike. That's all I have to talk about today because no one wants to talk about this dastardly Deceptic creep, Dispensor, and how much of a threat he poses. Thankfully, I'm the only one who actually sees the truth and is willing to get this information out there. Now, I gotta go because I don't know if TRF or if that former nut job Agent Simmons is tracking my location. I don't want either of them on my tailpipe. And I will see you guys in the next video. If I survive anyways. Until the next video, stay groovy and stay safe y'all. Give the video a like. Give the video a shout out. Above all. Give the channel a groovy subscriber.